Welcome back to another video guys. Thank you for staying tuned. I know it's been a while since I'm making a workout or training specific videos. Like usually I'm making a lot of vlogs and I have been making a lot, lot of vlogs recently and showing you guys my daily lifestyle, what I'm eating, how I'm training. But today is gonna be workout specific. I'm gonna talk to you guys as to why exactly you need to have a strong back. I don't care how hard you're training. If you don't have a strong back, if you don't have strong back muscles, you will be weak. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how to get one and why do you need to have a strong back and how beneficial it is to every single one of you watching. I don't care if you're a beginner or an advanced athlete. If you're a beginner, this is good. This video is really good. Like you will benefit a lot from this. So with that being said, let's start on with the video. So first of all, let's talk about why you need a strong back. You wanna get a stronger weighted dip, stronger squat, stronger deadlift, you need to have a strong back, period. Yesterday on my leg day, I'm just gonna play a video right over here. I did a Zercha squat with 405 pounds for two sets of two reps and I realized you can clearly see my form is not breaking because my back muscles are really strong and I was able to like keep my back straight, period. Other than that, my deadlifts going up and keep in mind guys, I'm not doing these movements every single twice a week or anything. I'm just doing these once a week or once a month. That's it. But mainly here you can see my back is not breaking, my back muscle, my form is not breaking. This is a lower body specific workout that I'm talking about but when you talk about the weighted dip, just in general, you need to have a strong back. When you want to have a strong bench press, you need to have a strong back. If you want to have a strong overhead press, you need to have a strong back, period. You want to be strong just in general, you need to have a strong back. Every single anime if you go to see, for example, Dragon Ball Z or Baki or anyone else, uh, these guys have strong back. You can see their back muscles are very well developed. I know I'm bringing anime in this conversation because it, it actually plays a really serious goal right here. A lot of times you'll see when people are going to the gym, starting off their workouts or whatever, they don't take their back muscles serious. They're just doing their normal lat pull downs, normal, uh, some simple light barbell rows or some type of cable machine. No, it doesn't work like that. You shouldn't, I don't want you guys to do that. I want you guys to be focusing on weighted pull-ups. Okay, right now I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to get a strong back. By the way guys, if you have any questions, always comment down in this in every single one of my videos because by you commenting and liking my videos on YouTube it's gonna help YouTube to blow my channel up and eventually the community that I want to build with all of you I'll be able to do it and I can't do this alone I can't be successful alone let's face it also if you have any questions and you need more in-depth help with your programming or anything like that follow my Instagram the link is down in the description below follow my Instagram Talk to me, you know, literally talk to me. I'm not asking for your money. I've helped many people with their programs, trying to make them understand stuff. I don't want your money. I just want you guys to stay tuned with my content, both on Instagram and on YouTube and subscribe to the channels and follow me on my Instagram as well. That is all I'm asking for. I'm giving you guys free advice. Again, I don't want your money. I just want you to improve. And I want this because it means something to me. When I help someone and I see that someone is making gains or just in general, they need life advice and I gave them an advice and it changed their way of thinking and they're improving, it gives me power and that is how I gain more confidence in myself and I can push myself harder. So if you need help with anything, maybe it's your personal life you wanna share or talk to someone or even you wanna know more about lifting or something, you know how to find me. That being said, let's get on to the video. Enough talk. So right now, let's talk about how to get a stronger back. In order to get a stronger back, you need to have a combination of both vertical pulling and horizontal rowing movements in your back routine. Example, pull-ups. Another example, rows. These two are top picks. By the way, if you want to get better at pull-ups, you got to train the movement by itself. If you want to get better at weighted pull-ups, get a stronger weighted pull-ups, well, guess what? You got to do those. If you want to get a stronger back or a thicker back muscle, you also got to have to do rowing movements in your back. You just don't want to do all type of vertical pulling movements and no rowing movements in your back, on your back routine or on your back day. By the way, guys, I have a lot of videos in this channel showing you, giving you guys free programs on how you can get better at weighted pull-ups or how you can program it. Literally, I'm giving you guys everything for free. I don't want your money. 
I don't want nothing from you. I just want you to see my videos. I want you to stay tuned in the channel. I want you to like actually keep up with every single one of my videos and benefit from it because I'm not here to give you bullshit. I'm here for a long time and I want you guys to actually be with me. And I also want to give you guys some honest and solid advice and keep it 100 with you all. Anyways, so how do you get better and a stronger back? You want to start off with pull-ups. I'm not picking lack pull-downs because that is complete garbage. I I'm, I'm sorry, but that is just garbage to me. There is, there is a specific uh, area where that can benefit you too, but I'm mainly going to talk about the pull-ups right here, first of all. So, you are a beginner, you want to get better and bigger and a stronger back. Okay. Good job. How do you start off? Let's start with the pull-ups. You go on the pull-up bar, you're trying to do pull-ups, you, you're only being able to do five or six reps. Great. Sets and reps. In a week, have two pulling sessions. One pulling session, do pull-ups. The other pulling session, do chin-ups. Because when you're a beginner, you can't really do a lot of sets throughout the whole week for your back muscles, okay? You, it's hard. You have to build up that work capacity step by step and not do the same thing over and over every single session and overuse your joints. You will see a lot of times athletes, they complain about having pain on their elbows or golfers elbows and stuff like that because they're they're it's they're doing the same thing over and over again in my channel i always show you my routines how i'm training every single week i show you guys something new and you can see i am constantly making gains keep in mind i'm not taking supplements but i am still constantly making gains and i'm showing you guys everything i want you guys to really listen to what i'm saying right over here having two pulling sessions in a week great good job First pulling session, you focused on pull-ups, maybe wide grip or shoulder width. Second pulling session, you could focus on a chin-up. Close grip or wide grip, it's your wish completely. I would say have two variations on each session for your vertical pulling movements. Sets and reps are good. It's a good way to start. Once you see that you're able to perform three sets of 10 to 12 reps on any pulling uh, movements, for example, pull-ups or chin-ups, neutral grip pull-ups, whatever, that is when you should start adding weights to your routine. Weighted calisthenic is the best way to go. When you start doing weighted calisthenic, you will blow up. You'll get huge. I'm telling you that right now. But hey, before you start weighted calisthenics, I want you to really focus on your good form on your pull-ups, okay? So first week, two sessions a week, starting off with your weighted pull-ups, keeping it super simple. That is one of my top picks, by the way, for having a stronger back muscle and having a bigger back just in general because weighted pull-ups the weighted stretch when you're stretching all the way up from the bar like that and pulling up like that it's it's just crazy guys i've pulled massive amount of weights i know you guys can do it but just listen to what i'm saying so let's start off again you're focusing on weighted pull-ups focusing on two variations each movement remember to switch them up on each session so that you don't do the same thing over and over again i don't want you guys to do the same thing because you're going to get bored i know for myself i get bored and doing the same thing over and over again doesn't mean you're going to get strong okay you want to teach your body how to be good from different angles the combination of being strong from all different angles or different variations is ultimately what gonna make you strong i really need you to understand that okay and stick to your program, stick to your movement, stick to the exercise. Don't just, don't just give up, okay? Even if you're 15, 16, 17, 20, 21, you're not seeing results, change things up. The moment you see you're doing something and it's not working, ask yourself why it's not working. Change it up, all right? Don't just give up and things don't work like that, all right? Anyways, so now, Getting the weighted pull-ups or the pull-ups out of the way, that's the vertical pulling movement and I'm keeping this video really simple. I'm not giving you guys too many exercise selections because right now I know doing pull-ups is something everybody can do. You can buy it from Amazon like a doorway pull-up bar and start doing your pull-ups right now from today. This is something you have access to in your house. That's the reason why I'm keeping this video completely simple. Because as a beginner, you might not have a gym membership and I don't know in your area if your gyms are opening back up. I really don't know what's going on. So I want to make sure that whatever it is advice that I'm giving you, you can actually apply it in your house, in the comfort of your home. And if you have a gym membership, you'll be able to go to a gym. Great. That is perfect. You can go to the gym and simply apply these advices that I'm giving you here. Anyways, getting the pull up out of the way. And now let's talk about the rowing movements. If you have access to weights, Getting a barbell row, uh, like you know, a barbell, just a normal barbell row is great. It really gives you a thicker back. Your upper back is being taxed. Your posterior chain is being taxed. Core muscles are being taxed. 
I've done many rolls in, this, in my whole entire like lifting so far, two and a half years in. Heavy, light, I play around with all rep ranges. Usually I try to keep my rep range somewhere between eight to 15. If I'm doing 15, the weight is not gonna be so heavy. If I'm doing eight or 10 reps, the weight is gonna be somewhat heavy. And if I'm doing five reps, the weight is gonna be super heavy. But right over there, when I'm doing rows super heavy, you will notice I'm using a lot of body English. It's okay to cheat. It's called cheat rows for a reason. When you're cheating the weight and rowing it, you're teaching your body how to control a heavy weight. But then again, it is very dangerous. You could go snap city. It's kind of advanced, so I'm not gonna talk about, give you guys uh, much on how to incorporate that in your program. But I am gonna talk about the body weight row. The body weight row is something every single one of us can do. Beginner, advanced, I don't care how strong you are. Trying to bang out a couple of sets and reps with good form is, is it's hard. Your forearms get like cramped up, biceps, you get a back pump. It's great. And let's face it guys, you want to be able to pick exercises that you can learn from and step by step, you know, improve slowly. You don't want to just jump on day one and simply start like, you know, going ballistic on your exercises. You don't want to do that. You want to keep things really simple. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm giving you guys the exercises that you can do in the comfort of your home. If you have access to a gym membership, great. You can do barbell rows. And if you don't have access to a gym membership, but you have access to gymnastic rings, you can do your rows there. You can do your rows right there in your house. You can do body weight rows, simple, easy. Focus on good form. I will always talk about no matter how strong you are, having a good mind to muscle connection is super critical in terms of building muscle, strength, and size, okay? Focus on good mind to muscle connection. Contract the right muscles. Contract your scapula when you're pulling. Pull with your back. Don't use your biceps so much. There's a lot of things that goes into play when you're working on rowing movements or any exercises just in general, all right? Keep that thing in mind. Anyways, guys, having a combination of both vertical pulling and horizontal rowing movements on your back routine or on your pull day will actually get you a bigger back and a thicker back. And remember, a bigger muscle has the potential of being a stronger muscle. Certain times or most times on YouTube, you will hear um, different advices from different influences. I don't know what influences or who you guys are following, but me personally, I follow very few fitness influences on YouTube and even on any social media platform. I don't try to listen to too many bullshit because right now in social media, even on YouTube, there's a lot of garbage spreading all over and we don't have time for that. You see these people stepping up on roids, these kids and everything, they're getting juiced up out of their brains, out of their minds. They're making massive gains. Don't compare yourself to anyone. All right, guys, no matter what happens in your life right now, I'm, I'm going to become 100 with you all and give you some ad, like real life type of advice that's actually going to benefit you. Don't compare yourself to anyone. All right. In this fitness industry, you will see a lot of people juiced up. 17 year olds juiced up. They're pulling 700, 600 pounds on the deadlifts by training only two, three years. It doesn't work like that. I'm being completely honest with you all by they're showcasing their strength with you to you and they're trying to sell you programs and everything. I understand they're also trying to make money, but hey, I don't respect people like that who are not completely 100% honest with their audience. I do not respect people like that. I just don't. I only respect those who are 100% honest with their audience. So. As I said before, I don't know which influences you guys are following on social media, let it be on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. I want you guys to actually dial down and see which influences are being 100% honest with you all, maybe with their drug use or their diet or whatever it is. Stay with them because their honesty is going to make you understand how this whole fitness thing works not some garbage fitness influencers that are just trying to make money out of you because in reality, there's a lot of them. There's a lot. I don't want to take names, but there is a lot. It just startles me that they're giving you guys some garbage, some bullshit content and it just, it's just, you know, very annoying. But anyways, this video was about having a stronger, how to get a stronger back muscle, why it's important. I just gave you guys some super simple tips, some simple talks. I didn't go super deep into programming and blah, 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 all of that because I already have videos about the programming. I need you guys to watch it. I'm gonna link them up down, not down, like in the video. You guys really need to watch all of those. By the way, guys, 
those who reached out to me on my Instagram followed me and I had phone sessions with you all just just you know talking to you connecting with you all thank you for that really appreciate you guys connecting with me on Instagram as well if you have any questions anything comment down below in my videos as I will always help you out 100% with that being said, I hope you apply my advices that I gave you guys in this video. This video was super simple, super short. Stay tuned for more vlogs. There's going to be a lot of epic shit coming up. There's going to be a lot of workout specific videos. Comment down below also what exactly you need help with or what you guys want me to make because I need to know what you guys need so I can make videos, you know? I want you guys to improve and be strong as shit, period. I don't want anything from you. I don't want your money. I just want you guys to see my content. Subscribe to the channel, comment down. I want to build this community and I can't do this alone. All right? I can't do this alone. With that being said, I am going to wrap it up. I will see you guys all in my next video. Thank you for staying tuned. Be safe, be smart, train hard. Don't compare yourself to anybody else because you are unique and go be small. Peace. Oh, I wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them tonight We're going out of ourselves, can you